Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is a look at Game Week 24 and for those wanting to get in the top 5% globally and are following the series, I'm going to look at how Game Week 23 went and what we're going to do for Game Week 24. So there are 7 or 8 teams that I know are either religiously following me or else are approximately following me, the system, but have their slight variants. So looking at those teams and what's popular, especially the three that I know are religiously following me, there are three players that we did have that I've now taken out of the system because no one has them now. That's Bailey, Stones and Almiron. So they're not going to get mentioned in this video anymore. So the bankers, these are players that everybody has. Ward, Bueno, Trippier, Shaw, Andreas, Rashford, Martinelli, Haaland. Ward, Bueno and Andreas started on the bench. The other players scored 2, 12, 8, 5 and 10. Haaland was captain so he got 20. So the bankers would have got 47. In theory, Shaw or Trippier may have started on your bench. Shaw's of course the important one because he got 12. But when I checked the teams out, those that are religiously following me and the advice, they didn't have Shaw on the bench. So we're okay there. So I'm happy calling that 47 points for the bankers. One goalkeeper. All the goalkeepers did bad this week in our system. They got 3-3-3-2. Three, three, three and two. And Edison and Ramsdale even had two games each. So that was really quite bad. So they averaged 2.75 for the keeper. Now, because it's got quite complex, because I've given you so many benching choices, because there are so many people that I'm kind of watching now and trying to keep happy. I've put a question mark here because you may have had two of these defenders or you may have had one. That's Ake, Gabriel, White and Castagna. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Castagna got five, but he was almost certainly benched. So I'm saying you probably got six points from these defenders, but one of these may have actually been on your bench. Midfielder, you'd have had one of these, Salah, De Bruyne, Fernandez. They scored 11, 15, 3. So that's an average of 9.7. Happy with that. We're aiming for at least five points a player. There was one of these. That's why 9.7 is green. You would have had one of Saka, Odegaard, Mitoma or Mares. They scored 15, 4, 2, 14. So that's an average of 8.75. You would have possibly had two of these otherwise one that's Kane, Darwin, Enketia, Mitrovic, Tony, Martial, Nonto and there's a couple of teams already I'm aware still have Martial so we'll get to him later these scored two five six two nine Martial didn't play Nonto got two so very low scoring that was an average of eight points so on the bench I won't read through all these, but these are the players in order that I said for putting on the bench. These are the scores they got. So apart from Castagna, the last two rows, nobody got any score. And their upper two rows, which hopefully weren't on your bench, but may have had to have been on your bench. They're the ones that scored the points. So the global average for game week 23 was 66 points. The worst, if you were following the system you'd have got, was about 60 and I've allowed for the fact that I showed you 12 players you probably had in your team, but one was on the bench. I have factored that in. The average was 75. The maximum was 100. Uh, those that religiously follow the system, they all got at least 80 this week. Those that very nearly follow it or, you know, within a player or two, they were generally in the 70s. So uh, I think we did all right this week. That's OK. 505 subscribers if you like this find it useful comments and likes are very helpful thank you very much so last week i went through this table and talked about the upcoming fixtures we've now of course had game week 23 don't worry that i went over that quickly i'm just showing this in case you've nearly got the same players as us and you want to shuffle a few around if you're bringing players in that are in this system be aware, be aware that in the next two weeks Brentford, Brighton, Man United and Newcastle all only have one fixture. So I would advise you against bringing those players in. However, if you want to bring in a player from Arsenal, Everton, Liverpool, Wolves are in the system, that would be OK because they've got three games in the next two weeks. But the only actual transfer I'm suggesting is worth doing is if you still have Martial, and I suggest you get rid of him and you bring in either Darwin He's got some nice fixtures coming up and a double game week. Jao Felix, he's going to be new to our system. He doesn't have any double game weeks booked in the next several weeks. 
but he is a very exciting player. Otherwise, Enketia, who also has a double week coming up. Any of these are maybe a bit of a gamble because Enketia may get dropped in several weeks' time. Darwin should be doing well, but he's very nearly getting points without actually getting points a lot of the time. And Yao Felix hasn't had many games in the Premiership, so we can't be sure how good he is, but he does look very good. So I would suggest getting one of these three if you have Martial. Now, if there's anyone else in your team you want to swap around for somebody else in this system, that's fine. But next week, we're almost certainly going to be making two or three transfers and taking hits. So don't move somebody about just for the sake of it, because that's going to cost you four extra points next week. Hopefully that makes sense. So the bench, the way the bench works, we talk about who goes on the bench and then the other 11 players obviously shuffle themselves around and sort themselves out. OK, so you will put Ward as your goalkeeper on the bench. I'm now going to show you a whole load of players. The first one that you have goes to position three on your bench. The next one you have position two, the last one position one. But if it happens that the first three you have are defenders, of course, that's not possible. So it's the first three that you possibly can put on your bench. So if after everything I've said, you still have Martial, then he's first on your bench. Then it'd be Bueno, everyone's got Bueno, Castagna, Andreas, Somerville, White, Gabriel, Nonto. Now I'm aware those Arsenal boys, it seems a bit strange putting them on the bench. However, you've probably got 11 other players that are going to quite probably score more players than them, more points than them, and that's why they're on the bench. Now, the next set of players I'm going to show you are all good players and hopefully won't be on your bench. But if you've got a benching dilemma, this is the order you need to put them on your bench. Mitrovic, Martinelli, Ake, Shaw, Darwin, Trippier, Odegaard, Tony. Now, any of those, especially the first eight, may well get some good points this week. But as I said, the chances are the other players in your team should be doing better. Now, if you see a player in your first 11 that you think I've completely messed up and you should bench them and just bench them, that's fine. But I think this is right with what you've got. Regarding captaincy, that's really difficult this week. It's between Haaland and Rashford. Haaland is the safer captaincy because he's almost certainly going to be captained by more people. Whereas Rashford, he's been very exciting recently and consistently scoring in games. Whereas Haaland seems to be high and low so he might get a two and a three then he gets a 17 or something but the safe bet is to put the old mule hat on Haaland however if you want to put the mule hat on Rashford instead that is absolutely fine you should all have both of these players so whichever one you captain make the other one your vice captain and I think when I'm doing the score next week if most of you or all of you do pick Haaland I'll make him the captain when I review the scores if you went Rashford, he'd be the captain. And if it's split, then I'll average out the captaincy points. This is the closest captaincy call I think we've had so far in this system. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to captain Harlan myself, but I don't know for sure. But don't let that influence you. Hopefully that instruction was clear enough for how to get ready for game week 24. I hope you enjoy it and get a good score. And remember, the following game week, game week 25... We're probably going to have to make lots of transfers and take hits, but that's fine. We'll do all right. We can still finish top 5%. Thanks for watching. Bye.